you are more likely to get struck by lightning or get a hole in one than win the near one billion dollar mega ball jackpot. But what if you do? Our next guest financial expert, Melissa Armo, uh, reveals the one and only person, just one, that you should tell, aside from me and sharing it. <laughs> About getting lucky. The mega million jackpot growing to a record $970 million, but your chances of winning not very high, as you can imagine, with only one in 302 million odds of you taking home the jackpot. So how can you increase your chances of winning? Here now to weigh in is owner of Stock Swoosh, uh, Melissa Armo. Thank you very much for joining okay. us. So the odds for winning the, the mega millions, the big jackpot, that's you know ridiculous. But there's also some smaller amounts that you can win as well. Sure. We'll have to see if anyone wins tonight. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't, it's going to go into next week. And it could Crazy. even be over one billion which would be really exciting as of right now it's just under that one billion and it's the second largest jackpot in history yeah so let's take a look at you actually have better odds at some of these things happening to you uh, an unprovoked shark attack that's one in 11 million getting struck by lightning one in one million and then an average golfer sinking a hole in one that's one in 12,000 so I'd rather a win a billion dollars <laughs> than any of those course. things <laughs> <laughs> so how do you increase your chances? Well, there's really no way to increase your odds, but you can increase your chances by getting in a pool, getting as many tickets with as many people, because even that's a lot of money. You can mm -hmm. split it up. Friends, family pools, office pools here at Fox, that, that, then you'll have a lot of tickets, and it's mm -hmm. just about you know trying to see if you can win. There's really no way to increase your odds. You just got to increase your chances. I was reading, I mean, because there's all kinds of people trying to give advice, that if you buy, uh, say you say buy 10 tickets, go to different locations buying those tickets it's really just you know? <laughs> it's really just luck really the people that win it's really yeah. honestly about luck even if you were a mathematician and you tried to figure it out I don't think it's random numbers well and what about that you know picking your own numbers versus letting a machine pick the numbers because I've read that that is actually better to do as well well I heard that and I also heard if you play the same number if you play the lottery on a regular basis eventually a hit but I'm really not sure if that makes a difference either I really mm -hmm. honestly think that it's luck and obviously someone could be a very lucky person tonight particularly if it is one winner yeah but the chances of it being just one ticket one winner it's actually the, a greater chance that it'll be a group which is why you mentioned exactly that off the top. you know what the most fun is from the time that you buy the ticket until it goes off because you think and you dream about all the things you do with the money all the things you possibly do to change your life but you really have to protect yourself the most that you can if in fact you do win and how can you do that the ways that you can protect yourself we can put some of your tips for people uh, keep a low profile if you possibly can don't go out in the middle of the street yes. screaming i just won well, that would be hard not to do well, that six states actually allow you to be anonymous mm -hmm. so you don't have to give your name but definitely put your social media profiles on private you don't want everyone in the world commenting and calling you make your number unlisted as well your phone number that's mm -hmm. a good idea and then before you even collect the winnings go and see a cpa and an accountant to get some advice because you're going to have tax implications you will have to pay taxes on it it could be as much as 40% and also before you go hog wild spending it, pay down debt. If you have a mortgage, if you have car loans, pay down any of that debt. And also it's a great time to invest in the stock market. Yeah, but so that's that a lot too. of money. You gotta have some fun with it too. A little bit of fun. Yeah, so the Mega Millions drawing is tonight at 11 p.m. So you can buy tickets up until what time? I don't know you what know? time you can okay. buy them up to. I think it depends on the states, but you can also buy online. What so about you, that? Is that, that safe is, to do? Well, I don't know how safe it is. You have to check out the legitimacy of the sites, but I there's one specific with site. the New York lottery, you can actually buy tickets online for the Mega Millions mm -hmm. uh, by subscribing, by being a, a subscriber. And then there's, I know, at least one or two um, apps that you can log on to as well, but only certain states will accept those. Well, if you if you live in New York, you can just go out right on the street corner and buy it at most of the places. But if yeah. you're out of state and you want to participate, if it's not, if you're out of state, you can do it. And that's probably one of the reasons why I think it's going to get up to be close to that one billion, because you're going to probably yeah. Have a lot of ticket sales Crazy. on its very last day today. What would today. you do with that much money? Gosh, what would I do? I would take a very I long vacation. Hard about it. Somewhere Go to tropical. Disney World. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. All right, the time now is about six minutes until the top of the hour. Is honesty really the best policy? This brand new tourism campaign turning heads for telling it like it is, and social media is having a field day.